Welcome back, peeps. Thank you for tuning in to the Band of Bros channel, where we're always taking a look at the new system tricks in the Call of Duty universe. And in today's video, we got for you guys, happy Friday, another settings video. So now I did a sound setting video a while, while ago, and this is going to be like the updated version. We're not just going to go over the best Warzone settings, like what is the best audio mix and all these sort of things, but we're also going to be going, what are the best types of headphones for you? Because it does depend how you have it connected and also some extra different things that you can change in your console to improve so everything you can do to improve your sound settings to get to listen to footsteps a lot better is going to be covered in today's video everything that has to do with warzone and with that being said if you guys do enjoy this kind of content please remember to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on it deeply helps me out all as well special thanks to all my youtube members who give you a little bit extra support my channel and with that being said let's jump right into this video So before we jump into all these settings that you can change in Warzone and in your console, I'm going to talk about the headphones just really, really quick. If you guys didn't know, the best sounding headphones are always the ones that you can connect directly to your amp, the, like your DAC amp, or the ones that you connect directly to your console. And I mean directly to your console, like with a USB or with a USB Type-C. The worst sounding headphones are always going to be either the wireless ones or the ones that connect directly with your auxiliary cord. Reason being is because DAC, DAC amplifiers, first of all, they amplify the sound. And second of all, they pass a lot more information through that USB or USB-C. Those ones will always pass on more sound information compared to the wireless or the auxiliary cord. So if you want the best of the best sounding quality, get yourself some headphones that connect with a DAC or that connect directly to your PlayStation. Now let's jump before we actually change any settings. Now I do have my Elgato connected, so my sound goes directly to my PC. That's where I'm listening to this. But when you go into sound, whatever console you're in, I'm pretty sure you know where your settings are, always go and you can up the volume of your headphones like you can change the headphone level always bump it up to max it's always better to have that at 100 percent, and then change your warzone settings specifically after that also if you guys are in a party chat do be aware that when you go into a party chat you get like these voice chat balance so you may have all your uh, sound settings customized and then you jump into a party chat and it, it, it changes level so as you guys can see here you can choose what you listen to more either to your game or to your party chat so just do be aware of that i use Usually select party but it, the more you select party the less you'll hear your game meaning the less you'll hear footsteps so just be aware of that and select your voice chat balance accordingly because remember that won't go into but now let's go into the war zone ones now in, in the, my other video i explain every single one of these right i explain what each and every one of these does whoever explains this do not listen to them even do not listen to that video that i put i mean they are true right what i explained are true but really you only need to focus on two things here in the audio mix only two do not worry about, about anybody about any other them oh my god i cannot talk number one it's gonna be you can only only worry about boost high or boost low those are the only two settings that you should worry about let me tell you why when it comes to headphones the headphone manufacturers they come like a pre-built right some headphones choose to either make it higher frequency some headphones like to choose the lower frequency some headphones like to come with more bass added to them it just depends what kind of headphone brand you got now when i was using the turtle beach headphones that's when i did the other video i had the turtle beach tournament pro edition and i had it at boost low because turtle beaches the ones that came for me were like in a high frequency so a low frequency worked out for me now my settings and my settings were exactly the same i got these new HyperX right now i got the HyperX cloud orbit s which are amazing honestly and i had it on low and i just sounded like it was really low like i mean it was muffled i'm like man what's wrong with these headphones like i paid fucking 300 dollars for these and i can't hear shit but then i realized and i switched it to boost high and it changed a huge difference because the preset levels of these HyperX they came in a boost they were just like a lower frequency sounding headphone and again that just has to depend on what headphone so don't listen to the person say use boost use this use that i'm just gonna let you guys know that the two most important ones are either boost high and boost low and what you gotta do is you gotta try a game and boost low don't just like flip between them don't just like go like this and uh, i think this one's better no 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 like choose one roll into a couple games then choose to the other one roll into a couple games choose another one and 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 then you can gauge and you 
you can be like, all right, I think boost high is the one for me, or I think boost low is the one for me. Now, if neither of these were, you can also try boost, but these are basically your main ones, boost high and boost low. And again, that is really just depending on your headphone that you have and how they come. So if you guys want to comment it down below, let me know what kind of headphone you got. But yeah, it, it should just be between these two. That is the only thing it depends. Now with the master volume, master volume is everything. So I like to have this just a little bit lower because sometimes I feel the game is just like insanely fucking loud. Like, I mean, I can't hear shit some of the time. So master volume is everything in the game, the music in the game, the sounds in the game, the footsteps, the bullets, everything has to do with master volume. So what I do is I bring this to 90. Now with my music volume, that's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. It's the music that you get into a game, you know? So if I bump this up, you guys are going to hear the music in the background get higher. This is not just the music in the background right now in the lobby. It's also the music in the game. Sometimes you can hear the game has like music to it. So that is why I turn my music all the way to 10. I mean, you can turn it all the way down, but sometimes it's cool to have a little music added to your background. You know, so 10 doesn't really hurt that much. But if you have it really loud, sometimes in the game, you can actually hear those things and it will affect you. Now, dialogue volume is everything that your players say or anything like that. So you could also go ahead and just put the dialogue volume down to 65 I, again I, I don't really like this too enemy you you know you, you with this you can basically hear enemy uav all those things you don't need to have it maxed out again all these things are not as crucial as your uh, as your footsteps now the effects volume have 100 effects volume as it says there is everything in the game in getting face this is everything from your bullet shooting from the footsteps from doors opening to putting on plates everything falls into the effects category so this is just at 100 that's that's why it's kind of hard to isolate footsteps and stuff like that it's a little bit harder but what you want to do is you just want to have effects volume at 100 and master volume again i like to keep it just a little bit low because things get a little bit too crazy around here you can also change the hit marker or sound effects if you guys didn't know i kind of like the classic ones compared to the modern warfare they sound really cool and unique so i like this ones they're a little bit lower but they don't really have to do anything a uh, juggernaut music it don't really matter and it also if you guys didn't know you have this thing called voice chat effect all the way here at the bottom of voice chat and each one's offer as something different so classic chatter or stealth comms they kind of like put a what's it called like a filter on your teammates voice chat so if you guys think they like speak too loud you can go ahead and put stealth comms and they're going to be a lot lower meaning that you'll be able to hear your game a lot more so if you have teammates that just scream and blast all the time and they don't want to listen to you about putting their voice chat volume down a lot that just go ahead and put stealth comms and that'll like put a filter on them so you can try any of these and uh and and, and it'll be pretty good but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was basically it. This is going to be a really quick video. Remember, if you can get the most important thing out of it, if you can either try to get a DAC amplifier or try to get a headphone that connects through USB or USB-C, remember to max out your volume when you go into your console settings. Always have your volume maxed out. And remember to double check the party check voice chat before you go into it. And always remember, effects volume always at 100. And just test a couple games to see if your headphone is either boost high or boost low. And that is everything I got for you guys. Again, let me down below in the comments what kind of headphone you got i'm kind of curious to know peace out everybody and i'll see you all in the next one well hello there i see you're still here and because of that you're gonna get a vip tour of my brand spanking new website here you can check out if i'm streaming or maybe donate some benjamins if you want to support me a bit more most importantly you can get your own anti-gulag merch right here a hundred percent guaranteed that you will not go into the gulag if you wear one of these and finally you can check out some of my cod videos and the top point makers on my stream and now with all that being said i'll see you all in the next one